Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a closet clean out. I have not cleaned and gone through my closet in so, so, so long. I really want to go through all my clothes, organize, sell stuff on Poshmark, just kind of completely go through it, make sure it looks super nice. So I really want to purge my closet, kind of have a fresh restart for spring. I also want to do another spring cleaning video or like deep cleaning my apartments. Let me know if you guys are interested in that, but let me tell you guys a little bit about where I'm at. I think that I've been having a really hard time getting dressed in the morning because I have a lot of clothes in my closet that I just don't ever wear. They've been sitting in my closet for probably like a year or so now and there's clothes that I've had for a really long time I don't wear anymore. It could be because they don't fit anymore. They're not my style. Something's wrong with them They don't really fit my lifestyle that much So I wanted to go through my closet and kind of go through everything and decide what I want to keep what I want to donate What I want to sell on Poshmark. I'll link my Poshmark down below if you guys are curious about it But I think kind of decluttering my closet will help a lot and getting ready in the morning because there's just not so much like visual waste in a sense So let's take a look at my closet. My closet is is a little bit of a mess right now. This is not the messiest it's ever been. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm doing for giveaways. This is all the clothes that I want to go through. I just have a ton of stuff that I really haven't worn in so long. Like this shirt still has tags on it. I know that for a fact. Some of these bodysuits haven't worn them in years. So I really want to go through this and I thought I'd take you guys with me. We will figure it out together. First up is going through every single piece of clothing that I own. I'm going to put them into a few piles. If I want to keep them, I'm just going to leave them there. If I want to donate them, pile. If I want to sell them, pile. And then if I want to put them on probate, and to me probation is I'm gonna keep it there for a while and if I don't wear it in X amount of months It's gone. It's gone A lot of the times I put clothes on probation and then I never wear them and they're still in there So I want to have like a separate section for probation so I can remember to wear them because a lot of the times There's clothes that I'm like, why don't I ever wear this? I love it And then I try it on and I'm like, that's why I don't wear it because it looks ugly on because it doesn't fit because it's this because it's that Probation is it's probation truly it really it's it's on its last trial if it doesn't wow me it's out I actually have a lot more clothes on probation than I thought I would. This is everything that I want to sell. Like, I have some workout tops that I've literally never worn before just because they don't fit me that well. They're, like, either too tight or too big and just some things that I don't think flatter me as much. And then these, a lot of my probation stuff is, like, going out tops. And I think what I need to do is try everything on. And I think that will help me decide if I want to keep it or not. Sometimes I forget I have these. Like, this little tank top right here, I completely forgot I had it. But other things, I do think that it would be beneficial to try it all on. But I think what I'm going to do is go through the rest of my closet. I have this, this and then this to all try on or go through go through i don't want to try all of that on but i think that is my next step and then i'll try on all of my probation items and then we will decide what is this it's a string Okay, this is everything that I want to sell on Poshmark or sell in, like consignment stores. I think my plan is first try Poshmark. If nothing sells, then bring it to a consignment store. If nothing sells, donate it. So this is everything that we need to try on to see if it fits or not, which is kind of a bit of clothes. It's always very, very intimidating trying things on, but we got this. It's actually been two weeks since I filmed that last clip. In the meantime, I got laid off from my job. So I have all the time in the world to clean out my closet. And what a better time to start selling my clothes than when I'm unemployed. So I'm going to start listing all the stuff on Poshmark that I know for a fact that I don't want to keep. Also, I did just eat a huge lunch. So I don't know if right now is the best time to try on all of those clothes that I'm unsure about. I also realized I still need to go through my dresser as well and figure out all that stuff. But I think I should start listing stuff on Poshmark first. My phone seems like it's gonna die soon. So maybe this this isn't the best time to do it, but we're gonna do it regardless. We're gonna do it until she dies. If you guys are interested in any of the clothes that I'm selling, I'll link my Poshmark down below. I think that I'm filming this very soon to when this video is going to be uploaded, so it should be. Hopefully there's stuff that's still up there. I think there should be. Offer me whatever you want. Anything that doesn't get sold on Poshmark, I'm gonna try to bring to a consignment store, and then if it doesn't get sold, then to like Goodwill, we're gonna go. And also everyone, please ignore the hole in my jeans. I did rip them, but these are my favorite pair of jeans, so we're not gonna get rid of them. If anybody knows how to stitch up a hole in the jeans, please let me know. I do not want to part with these jeans. They are my favorite. I just happen to rip them. I 
I always forget how long listing stuff on Poshmark or just like on any of those online apps take. I've been doing this for like 40 minutes. I only have this much done. I have all of this and then I have a trash bag. This is all folded in here. I'm pretty sure I already have all this stuff listed, but I just am like, am I ever gonna get through this? I feel like because it requires so much information, but I have a lot of stuff. All this stuff is so cute. I'm like sad to get rid of it, but it just like, it doesn't fit me or it doesn't look good on me. Like there's a reason I haven't worn it in so long. It's all so cute. <laughs> All my summer clothes because I feel like it was honestly like slightly pointless to list my winter clothes. I might wait for my summer clothes to sell a little bit more and then list my winter clothes. But next up, we want to go through my dresser. I really don't think there's too much to get rid of in my dresser because I feel like most of the stuff is just like leggings and things like that that I wear pretty frequently. However, there is this one drawer. This one right here. Oh my gosh. Right away, we have this. That is hysterical. I feel like half the stuff in here I don't ever wear. And when I say half, I mean like 99%. This I'm gonna keep. I wore this for New Year's and I just think it's nice to have in case you need it. This is from Amazon. Um, but I also have this little like super cute. I love this so much. This kind of like yellow little bra top and then matching skirt from Princess Polly. Still has the tags on it. Never been worn, but I've never had a reason to wear it anywhere. And I don't even know if this would look good on me anymore. And last closet clean out video. If you guys watched me in my last closet clean out video, I was like, no, I'm going to keep this. And I haven't worn it once. I also have this really cute midi skirt that I love so much. But in all honesty, I just don't think it fits me properly. It has like the cutest little slit. I just think it's like slightly too tight on the waist for me and I haven't gotten any smaller since the last time and I haven't worn it since. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Same for this mini skirt as well. This like pink kind of like bandana print mini skirt. I think it's really cute. I haven't worn it. So I have this black skirt that I actually got altered to fit me which is really nice and even though I got altered to fit me it still does fit me perfectly which is, you know, why is there confetti? There's literally confetti in here, why? I also have this black skirt. This is like more of like a pencil skirt, which I like. I love this champagne skirt that I have right here. It's from Abercrombie, I love it so much. However, it just kind of like emphasizes my lower stomach. I have this one from Princess Polly. See, I have a lot of skirts, but I clearly don't wear a lot of them. This one from Princess Polly, I like it. It fits my waist really well, but I think like the sides of it are a little too baggy. And so, I might, I might keep it. I might keep it. I also have that same, I might just have to get rid of this because I don't think anyone would want to buy this because this same champagne skirt, I have it in like the black kind of like silky finish. However, the bottom of it, the strings kind of ripped off. And so I tried fabric gluing it on and that didn't work, but now it's just kind of like stiff fabric glue. So I don't think anyone's going to want to buy this because it's kind of like damaged. So maybe goodwill pile and then i also have this white skirt that i love from princess polly it used to fit me like a glove i honestly don't know if it's still gonna fit me like a glove because i'm not the same size i used to be but i'm gonna keep it because it used to fit me perfectly so there's hope i should try it on i still haven't tried on all those clothes i say that as i close this drawer and here these are all sweatpants that i wear pretty frequently these are my pajama pants that i wear pretty frequently Ooh, I don't even remember that I had this stuff in here. I think that I want to get rid of this. I have this super cute white tennis skirt, but it's honestly too big for me. I have all these super cute like linen shorts that I always forget that I own. Now that it's summer, this is going to be a nice little reminder that I have them. I have them in three colors. I have them in white, like kind of this like linen-y tan color, and then pink. And then I have this little silk short. Okay, I'm glad that I went into the store because I didn't even remember that I owned these. I think that's sometimes my issue too, is that if I don't see it frequently, I forget that I have it. Close that. I'm kind of like hidden in my closet, like hidden behind other stuff. I forget that I own them that I never wear. And then this is just like my underwear drawer and I don't really want to go through that on camera. So this was pretty, this is pretty easy to go through. I'm going to list these things right now, but I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it at all. Now that I have a lot of the clothes listed, not all of them, but some of them, I want to go through everything and just organize it. It looks like such a mess. This right here is everything I listed. This is everything I still need to try on. This is everything that I know that I want to list, but it's winter stuff. So I'm like, I don't really want to do it right now, but I don't want to keep it in my closet. So I'm kind of struggling with that, but I just have stuff everywhere. Like I just kind of want to clean it all up. This is fake. Don't worry that it's not real. This is all my giveaway stuff. I think I talked about that, but I think I just want to go through everything and just kind of make it prettier.
These are all shoes that I don't want to keep anymore. They are like, they don't fit properly. They gave me blisters. I love these ones, but like, I just don't have any reason to wear them. So I'm not really sure what I want to do. I don't know if I want to sell them on Poshmark. I've never done that before. Or if I want to just bring them to a consignment store. Like these are so cute and they would go with so many things, but they give me the worst blisters ever. And I just literally can never wear them ever again. So I don't really know what I want to do. Dude, does anyone have any recommendations of what to do with shoes? I just don't know if people sell them online or not. Also, this area was a complete mess, so I organized all my hangers. I used these lighter hangers for pants, and I used these darker hangers for shirts just because I have lighter and darker, and I don't want them to be all mixed up throughout. And then these are all the clothes that I still need to try on, which I'm going to do. And then I put all the clothes that I'm selling, like, up here with my dresses because I just felt like it was so overwhelming for me just having them kind of in my line of vision constantly, so I just threw them up here. The time has finally come. It is finally time to try on all of my clothes in probation. So essentially, if I try these on and I don't like these right now, I'm listing them on Poshmark instantly. They are gone. I'm going to try on, because I have some pants and I have some tops. So I'm going to try to strategically do this. I've honestly been putting off doing this just because it's a lot of work trying on all these clothes. And sometimes it's scary. It's like, what if these don't fit me? But we're trying them on. I'm not going to lie. When I first put these pants on, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of them. Then I put this top on with them and I was like, wait a minute. I kind of like this fit. So I think that these are very high-waisted. Like my rib starts here. So these go up to my rib. I do have a very short torso. So I was like, oh, these are just like way too high-waisted. And they're honestly, like they're not see-through. Maybe I'll watch this back and be like no it's totally see-through but I don't think they're see-through but I'm like are they kind of just like too light to wear to an office setting eventually when I get hired into a job but I was like are these just way too high-waisted because they go up really high like they're literally hitting my rib because I do have a short torso and then I put on this tank top and I was like wait this looks fine but this tank top is very cropped and I think that's why I never really wore it in the past because it's so cropped but with a super high-waisted pant like this like I think this is a cute outfit like I put this on and instantly I was like I kind of want to take an Instagram photo in this like i'm not kidding i think i look really cute in this outfit it's very like spring easter i was kind of thinking of getting rid of both of these but i think i'm gonna keep them and wear them together <laughs> You know what? I think I changed my mind. I think what I'm going to do is go take an Instagram photo in this outfit when I eventually get ready today and then get rid of these pants but keep the top. I just think that like most stuff wouldn't look good with these on my personal body type because they're just so high-waisted. Like I know a lot of people who have a longer torso that like th these type of pants would look really good on them. For me, I just don't think they hit me at like the most flattering part of my body. And like I wouldn't wear this top to a work setting, you know? I mean, I like it, but I just don't think that it's that practical for my workwear wardrobe it's more casual like i like trying to like talk myself into it because i do like it i don't think i should but i do think i want to take an instagram photo in this outfit obviously i wouldn't wear these together but th you know this color tone kind of gives me like 2012 you know like i feel like this chocolate brown was really popular with like blue or green or pink in 2012 but i think this top is like a cute just, like lounge top like i don't think i'd really i mean i could wear it to like target but you know it's not like an it's just more of a casual top but i like that it's kind of like this like waffle material i got this from like a little boutique in newport beach one year okay and then i also have these trousers let's give you a better look it's kind of dark by that mirror if i'm being fully transparent the reason i haven't tried on these trousers in a really long time is because i was afraid they wouldn't fit they're from princess polly they are like tight a little bit but not like super tight like i think they look fine on me I'm trying to up the exposure so you can see them like i feel like they they look nice they are like slightly like i don't want to say like snug but they like fit me perfectly that if i feel like i gained like one pound they would be too tight on me and so I'm deciding if I want to get rid of them or not. I actually really do like them. They have like these nice little pleats. See, like I think they look nice on me and I think they look professional. I just can't tell if they're a little too tight. This is my issue. Trigger warning if I'm going to be talking about body image. So skip to this timestamp if you guys don't want to hear it. Or if this is like not a topic that you're comfortable hearing. Bye four three two one i keep telling myself that oh like i'll just keep this and it'll fit me better when i lose weight or like oh i'll just like lose five ten pounds whatever that'll fit me better but like that's not a healthy thing to have and i'm trying to have clothes in my closet that look good on me now and that make me feel good now not when i eventually lose weight if i do you know i keep having this like thought process in my head and i think that's also why i was like so scared to try on these clothes for that exact thought process but i feel like these fit me fine but i think they'd fit me better if i was like a little bit skinnier but that's not something that i want in my head because i feel like it's just not healthy for me to think that way i didn't think a closet clean up video would be a body image conversation but maybe anyways i think i'm gonna keep both of these because in my head i'm like if i just lose weight 
these will fit me fine, but I need to stop thinking that way. This top is from Princess Polly. Also, these are jeans that I just got from Levi's. So I'm gonna try on the rest of the stuff with these jeans because I feel like I wear these jeans quite a bit. I don't know how I feel about this top. Like, I like it, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I honestly think it looks really good with the jeans. I think the thing that I don't like about it is it kind of like does this. I feel like this top is honestly meant for flat chested people, which I used to be, because it kind of like it bulges out because I have boobs. I don't know. I'm like very unsure about this one, but it doesn't do it on this side. So I'm like, is it just, I don't know. I think I'm gonna sell it. If I'm not 100% sure about it right now, then no. Next up we have this top. Am I wearing it wrong? Like, am I? Like, this is a genuine question. Am I wearing it wrong? I don't think I like it. I'm gonna check to see if maybe I'm wearing it wrong. I just don't think this is the type of thing that flatters me. This is a going out style like corset top from Garage. I have the versions of these with sleeves and I love them. But I also have the tank top version and I just don't know how I feel about it. Like, I feel kind of unsure. Like, I like it but at the same time I'm like, I don't, there's something that feels off about it and I think that if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. I'm trying to be more selective with this stuff. Like, I think it fits me fine. I feel comfortable in it. I think it's cute. I don't know. I just don't think it like, there's just something about it that I'm not loving. And so I think that means I should sell it. Also, I was wearing that last one right. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting to get rid of this one. I thought that I wasn't gonna keep it. It has like these little ruffle. I'm not sure if this thing right here is still trendy, honestly, like the kind of thing, but I'm like, I could just like cut it low key. Like, I don't know if that would look bad if I cut it, but I, I could. I actually really like this a lot. I was unsure if I, how I felt about it. Cause I was like, maybe I just don't like these kind of like one shoulder looks on me but i think this is really cute especially with these jeans like i kind of want to wear this this weekend i am keeping it this is kind of what it looks like with these like little ruffles here do you guys think this thing is still trendy but i'm like if i cut it would it look weird <laughs> i don't know this one is more of a going out top i got the rest of these bodysuits battle the bodysuits i got this two years ago never worn it still as a tag i literally just repeated exactly the same last thing that i said okay at first i tried it on i was like no i actually like this the more i have it on the more i'm like i don't know how i feel about it i was gonna wear this this one night and one of my friends told me I looked like a traffic cone so I didn't do we like I like cannot tell if I like this or not I cannot tell I actually own that last one in black and I could not get it over my head I don't know what's up I think it's a smaller size but yeah we're getting rid of that one this is the last one I actually really really like this one it required like a PhD to figure out how to put it on but I think it's really cute it's like a strapless thing that has this over it there is a fear of mine it's like what is this gonna fall but I think that I could just figure that out but I like this a lot part of me has never worn this because I'm like is this too fancy but like putting this on i don't think it's that fancy like it definitely could be nicer like i could like dress it up definitely for something nicer but i don't think it's like super fancy a success seems like we're keeping most of this this one still on the fence about and then i think there's only four things that i'm gonna sell successful i'm glad that i did this i actually really really love this top Okay, this has taken me weeks just out of pure procrastination, but let me show you guys it. So this is my closet. It doesn't look too different, but I definitely feel like it's a lot less crowded and overwhelmed by clothes. Right there, I just have some clothes I'm about to wear soon. If I'm wearing something soon that I picked out, I just kind of put it to the side. And typically, I like to have another basket, one for lights, one for colors and darks. That one's in my laundry room right now. The only thing that kind of bothers me is right here, I have two bags. These are stuff that I still need to like list on Poshmark and sell, but I'm going out of town soon, so I don't want to list them before I go out of town just in case people buy them. And they, I have to wait to send them out. So I'm gonna do that the second I get home. I'm gonna make myself do it. I organized my shoes. I think that was just kind of like a mess. And then I also did that for up here as well. I also moved, I don't think this looks very nice up there, but I don't really look at this area that much. And I put all my giveaway stuff in this corner, which is nice. Overall, I think it looks a lot nicer. I'm glad that I got rid of a lot of clothes I don't wear as much. I think that visually it is just easier to go through my closet and find the clothes that I wanna wear. I hope you guys like this video. I can't believe it took me this long to complete it, but I'm glad we're finally here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.